How to build your character stats. In this video, I will show you how to build your character stats. If you're new to this game, just keep watching. When you reach level 400, you will no longer get stats points when you level up. You can only get up to 11,040 stats points. Here are some pointers you should know in building your character stats. Number 1, you must know how many points are needed to equip your R4 gear, put points on it first. Number 2, required points for skills. In building your character stats, it is important that you put enough points into STR or agility so that you can activate the skills you need. I want my knight to have a high attack speed, so I put 7420 in agility, rest of the remaining points are in STR, is this a good build? No, when you put a high amount of points in agility, it does not mean that your attack speed will increase. This is your build with 7420 points in agility, only 158 attack speed. Let's try the balanced build, let's just put 5000 points each in agility and STR, and let's see how much attack speed we can get. As you can see, we got 254 attack speed in the balanced build. It is higher than your build, even though I only have 5000 points in agility. In this game, there is a bug in the attack speed, if you don't balance your STR or agility points, your attack speed will be low. Now I know that there is a bug in the attack speed, but how many points should I put in STR and agility? As I said earlier, when you distribute points, it should be enough for the skills you need. In skills we have R1, R2 and R3 skills. We can't use the build that has R3 skills because we will use a lot of points and there will be only a few left, so we won't be able to balance it anymore, the result will be a bug in our attack speed. So let's base points on R2 skills. Knight's R2 skills only need 5160 agility, and 5160 STR, so we should put 5160 points in STR and agility, so that we can use these skills. Now your knight can use two R2 skills, and there is no bug in his attack speed. Wow, my knight really got stronger with this build. I still have points left. Where should I put it? Let's learn more about our character's stats. When we put points in STR, our hit percent and attack rate increases. In agility, the death, death rate, attack speed and attack rate will increase. In stamina is our HP and skill damage resist percent, energy is for skill damage up. You can't just add the amount you want, it has to be balanced. When we added points in agility, the attack speed decreased, so you can't just randomly put any amount of remaining points in your stats. Now our attack speed is fixed. What stats should I add points to increase my attack? Here you will notice that the stats with higher points is where your attack is. So when you add a higher points in STR, your attack will increase, as well as your hit percent and attack rate. When you add points to agility, your attack, death, death rate, attack speed and attack rate will increase. But because there is an attack speed bug, you cannot have higher points in agility than STR. When the remaining points are this few, it's up to you where you put them. You can put them all in STR for extra attack, or you can divide them and put them in STR and agility, as long as the attack speed doesn't bug. Now the build of your knight is better, it has a high attack speed and has two R2 skills that you can use in PvP. The same in other classes, there is also an attack speed bug, so you will do the same. In Elf with 7420 agility, it has 158 attack speed only, very low. 4638 points in energy for power of Ares skill, 5160 agility for ice arrow, for crowd control in PvP. The attack speed is bugged because the agility points are higher. Let's add points to energy to balance. 
Having the same amount of points in agility and energy does not work in elf. Let's add more energy to fix it. Now the attack speed has increased. Let's distribute the remaining points. Now your elf's attack speed is better. And she can now use the power of Ares skill. In Spellsword, there are two classes, Strength Type Spellsword and Energy Type Spellsword. It has no attack speed bug because there is no Agility Type Spellsword. But he has a Scorch skill that helps him to boost his attack speed. There are many stats builds that can be built into a Spellsword. It depends on what skills you want to use. Just remember that you will put the remaining points into agility. For example, you can have 5160 energy for the Havoc Spear skill, and 5160 STR points for the Chaos Blade skill, but there are only a few points left for agility, not good. Or 5160 energy for Havoc Spear skill, the rest of the points are for agility. Your attack speed is quite high here because your agility points are at 5400 plus. And you can also do 3920 STR and energy so you can use all your R1 skills, then the remaining points are for your agility. But here your attack and attack speed are lower because your stats points are only 3900 plus each. Spellsword only gains attack from energy and strength, none from agility. It can also be 3920 STR or energy for R1 skills, then all remaining points for agility. But like I said, you can't get attack on agility points so it's not good, and you can't use your energy type skills either. The same will be done with the wizard's stats, energy and agility must be balanced so that there is no attack speed bug. You should also base on the required points of skills in placing points, then adjust your stats, until there are no points left. I think the best build is the one where you can use all the skills without attack speed bug. But you have to use advanced stats fruits to achieve that. So you should always buy advanced stats fruits every time there is an event, to add to your stats. And you can also get 800 stats points when you are VIP 11. That's all for now, thank you.